I know. I've never looked sexier. Just you wait. This may be the most important video I've done when it comes to surviving Midwest winter or any type of extreme cold weather. It's all about layering. Yes, that is the secret to survive. And after 25 years of living in Chicago, I realized I have to layer the entire winter. Let's start with basic layering, which is what the concept is all about. You need three layers. The first layer has to be tight on your skin like this. These are my thermals or my long johns. I'm gonna put a link to maybe some options for this. This is from Patagonia, so it tends to be pricey, but I've had it for years now and it's super effective. You need synthetic or wool. Why? Because you need something that what? Wicks moisture. You are going to sweat in the winter and sweat will make you colder. So you need a fabric that wicks it. And remember what I told you during this video about socks? Cotton is not gonna do it. Wool or synthetic fabric is your friend. Then you're gonna move to your second layer. When it comes to my second layer, experts say it should be one that protects you from the wind and keeps you warm. Let's talk about pants. I do corduroy when it's gonna be really cold in Chicago. And I would suggest you buy your pants your like really intense winter pants, like a size bigger of what you usually wear so that you can fit in them without dying. Corduroy, also these are synthetic, by the way. You could buy wool pants too. When it's super, super cold, jeans may get cold on you. I don't know why, maybe you do. If you know why jeans get cold on you, leave it there in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed. After this layer, let's talk about your top for sure, wool or synthetic sweater. I'm gonna put this on and start roasting because like a good island girl, I keep my house at a balmy 74. Last layer and maybe your most important, and there's an entire video about this, a good coat. A coat that will repel the wind and will keep you dry. Usually mine have Gore-Tex, you'll have all the information about this coat from North Face and other coats that I use during the winter right here on this video, one of the most popular. And this is your last layer. This is also why I buy my coats a size bigger because I layer up under it. So this is how you're gonna survive extreme weather. Don't forget your gloves. I have the info right there. And of course, a great wool hat. Now, let me show you my other tricks for layering when it's not below zero. So one thing I've realized and that you probably will when you move to a cold place and you haven't grown up in these conditions is that you're always going to be cold unless you love the cold weather and you just like to live like that. But I'm always cold. So I found certain tricks to layer when maybe other people don't and they're called tights. Yes, even pantyhose, <laughs> pantyhose. All right. So this is the thinnest pantyhose. This I wear your typical, when it's maybe in the 60s, 50s with a skirt and so on, but they come even thicker. Invest in tights. These tights, I'm gonna put them on my Amazon list in my, in my shop. These tights that are dark, like opaque tights. Listen, this under jeans, under any type of pant will keep you nice and warm in the winter. Then you kick it up a notch and go to these really thick wool ones. These are great with that first layer option that I gave you for when it's really, really cold. You may wanna put these tights if you don't wanna wear your thermals because sometimes they can be a little thick. You could wear these. One thing I wanna tell you about thermals, silk, also amazing, silk thermals. I'll put a link on my Amazon store too because silk like magic, all right. And last but not least, they even sell these at La Walgreens fleece leggings. Oh yes, ladies. Lined leggings with fleece. The only issue I have with these, and I haven't found a brand yet that helps me with this, is that these slide off a little if you wanna wear them with um, skirts. But if you wear them with pants, your pants hold them up. 
because you don't want to be walking around like when you were a little girl and they would slide down. All right, I know I told you that jeans can get cold and they can, but look at what I found at Old Navy. Lined jeans, I bought them in every color. They're amazing, fantastic. And also one thing I wanted to tell you, and this kind of mimics Zilk, when you're looking, I keep saying Zilk, Silk, when you're looking for um, a top layer, and you're thinking, oh, I can wear my T-shirt instead of a long sleeve, you know, depending on how cold it is. Don't wear a cotton T-shirt. Again, it doesn't wick the moisture. Go with one, a workout T-shirt and put a, this fabric is a lot better. Polyester, anything synthetic will wick the moisture. And this is a nice little tee that you can even wear with a jacket on top, you know, with a suit jacket and look really cute, but don't make it cotton, make it uh, synthetic. Another thing I found that is great these pleather leggings, I think I bought these on sale on Ann Taylor. I didn't know this, but they're lined. These are one of the warmest pants I own. And sometimes when you have to spend a week here in wool pants or wind pants, this is a nice alternative. So you're here by Friday, you can wear something a little lighter, but still super warm. So there you have it. Three layers, first one nice and tight, the second one warm, and the last one that repels wind and water, and of course, wool and synthetic. Do you have any other questions? Do you have any comments? Leave them there. And, oh wait, I gotta show you one more sexy outfit. You needed to see this. How could I deprive you of this? I know it looks ridiculous, but this saved me covering a polar vortex. That means when it was minus 23 with the wind chill, in the Midwest. This is a ski onesie, that's what I call it. I bought it at a ski shop. The guys recommended this because skiers wear this the entire day and it keeps them super warm. Of course, synthetic wakes the mo moisture. And it has even a hoodie, so it's kind of like you get everything done. The only problem with this besides the way you look, um, is that going to the bathroom is an issue. And you don't know how many times, because this is like a romper, I've had to take all my multiple layers off and then this and be practically naked in the bathroom stall. Not a good look. But if you have to work outside the entire day or have a bad a long commute that requires you to walk a lot in the winter in the below zero weather, this could be your thing. And I just thought, estoy lo más cute.